Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. I thought today we could do something called printmaking. A couple of you have heard me talk about printmaking in class before and you know that printmaking means pretty much essentially it's a stamp. It means taking one object and using that object to make a print or a stamp on your piece of paper. So we're going to do some circle printmaking today and then when you get done we can fill in all the circles with colors. And so this is what it'll kind of look like when we get all the way done. I hope you guys stay tuned to see how we do it. You're going to need a couple of things to start today's project. I'm using a, a toilet paper roll that is available to me. It has a nice circle. Um, you can always change the shape of this if you wanted to do a different shape. The reason I like using the toilet paper rolls is because this is cardboard. I could bend this into different shapes. I could make a triangle or a square um, depending on where I bent it, but I'm just going to use a circle. If you'd rather use a cup, a cup is always easy, but you for circle printing, you just want to make sure you have a nice circle edge. I'm going to have a paper plate, and that's to hold my black paint. And then you need to have something down on the table besides your white piece of paper to make sure that you catch messes. You don't want to get paint all over your table. So make sure that whenever, wherever you're doing this, you have a big piece of paper or newspaper or something underneath your paper to... Um, help with cleanup. Let's get started. So I have poured my paint, my black paint, onto my plate. I'm using an acrylic, uh, Hobby Lobby acrylic. Um, you can use any kind of acrylic. You could use tempura if you want to, but I like using acrylic for this kind of thing. But all I'm going to do is once I have my paper ready, and you can turn it whichever way you want it to be turned, once you have your paper ready, I'm going to put my paint off to the side just a little bit. Well, I'll show you the dip first. I'm going to dip my um, toilet paper roll inside, and you'll notice that it made the rim of the toilet paper roll nice and dark. Now that I have some paint on here, I can start making circles. So there's no real rhyme or reason to this. I like to try to get a couple of different... Um, shapes going on. You can make a pattern if you want to. You can make some stand out by themselves. I think it always looks a little better if you get a little overlapping. Um, fair warning, the more overlapping I do, the more colors I'm going to have to use later. So if you do overlap, that's great. But just realize that you're going to have to use more colors. And I could cut down on that using a bigger circle. So if I used a cup or something, it would be easier to do the color part later. But I'm just going to fill up this whole paper. So now that my paper is dry, we can do um, the coloring part. So Every space that I've left here is going to be a color. Um, I'm going to try to make, if they're touching another color, I'm going to try to make sure it's a different color than what it's touching. That can be a little tricky, especially for some of my younger learners. But try not to see this as a circle now. See this as a space, okay? So like this circle, this big circle here, has a lot of different spaces in it. So that means that circle as a whole is going to be a lot of different colors. Now you can use colored pencils, crayons, um, anything you want. I'm going to be using paint and uh, try to use at least five colors. And I know that seems like crazy, but the more colors you have, the easier it is to make sure that nothing is going to be touching um, the same color. This would be a wonderful opportunity to show off your rainbow knowledge and do Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And that would be really cool. But that's up to you completely. Let's get started. I'm going to paint and I'm going to show you these paint colors and then I'll show you how it looks as I go. So I have my water cup with a paper towel off to this side as well as the paintbrush. And I have a tray with 
five colors and my yellow got a little squirrely. It's touching my blue now. Pink, green, and purple. You can use any colors you want, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to use these colors and I'm going to start filling in. I'll probably try to use one color at a time. So like for example, I could use purple and I could fill in a lot of different areas with that purple before I start using a different color and I just put dots in them to show you where I'm going to do it, but I'm going to get started. Here we go. I could go even further with this. I could pick a color for the background and paint all of this around my circles as well as these little bitty triangles inside of here that's not really a circle but would still be an extra space. Um, this is just abstract. It doesn't have to look like anything. Obviously mine doesn't look like anything. It looks like a big old pattern. Um, but I had a lot of fun. The more colors you use on this, the easier it is to kind of spread them out and not get stuck. But like I said, this is up to you. You can leave it at the circle prints and it'll be just as pretty. I just thought I'd show you some interesting stuff going on today. Um, I hope you guys have had an awesome time watching and I'll see you later. Bye.